Today is a very sad day. Today is the day that I tell you that a day ago I dropped my iPod and it didn't survive. My iPod Classic, ladies and gentlemen. My 160 gigabyte iPod Classic that I've had for many years now. It's been through a lot with me. But it's time was up. I dropped it. Ah! Oh, fucking dropped it. I dropped it um, walking through the alleyway near my house, which is just there. The alleyway, I mean, not my house. I mean, my house. And I went to pull it out of my pocket and I caught the wire and it, it just fell. It fell, hit the floor. It, it was in a case. I've had, I've had this case. This was the first case I bought for it. I stuck an Apple sticker on the back. And then <clears throat> I, I went and bought an Agent 18 case from the Apple website and I had it in that and never took it out. But there was no visible damage. It, it, it fell, hit the floor, and, and popped out. Didn't smash the screen. The back was the back's been scratched, you know, just because everyone knows that these backs are, were incredibly hard to keep clean, no matter how hard you try. It fell, hit the floor, and it wouldn't play music. And I noticed a strange sound when I tried to play the music. Because usually it wears up, and what I mean is it has a hard drive inside of it, for those who don't know. It has a, a small hard drive, a bit smaller than a um, laptop hard drive, and it usually spins up and you can hear it. But when you try and press a button on it, the Apple logo comes on, it's booting up, and then after a while you get this little message basically telling you that you know, it's not going to work anymore. And that is the most heartbreaking sound uh, oh, I think I've ever heard and I can feel it. I can feel it clicking in my hands and I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you listen to this when, when it goes off, I'll start it again. Okay, so press the button, it's gonna boot up. Listen to this. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is the sound of the hard drive trying to spin. Stop, stop, and it's not working. Stop, please, it's killing me. Okay, thank you. The price when I bought that iPod, I bought it from Argos. I bought it for £179.99, brand new. Apple have since discontinued this iPod Classic, very quietly discontinued the iPod, this iPod Classic. And if you want a brand new one, you're looking in the region of £500, if not more. If you want a second-hand one, you're looking at maybe £300. Because it's been discontinued, and because they're not going to make it anymore, and because it's a 160 gigabyte iPod, you, you, you'll struggle to find an MP3 player with this amount of storage because all mp3 players now use flash, stor flash storage. I could try and get it sent off and get it fixed, but that might cost quite a bit of money too. I could also try and fix it myself. I could take it apart and pick up another hard drive and put it inside, and that might work if it's just the hard drive that's damaged. That would be fine, I could do that, put all my music back on it, not a problem. The thing is, it uses a traditional hard drive, and if I drop this again, after getting it fixed, what's to say the same thing won't happen? If I bought a second hand one that's been dropped a couple times, one drop from me might result in this. I can't risk spending money on buying a new one, a second hand one, getting this fixed or repairing it myself, just for an accident to happen, and, it, and then it not work again.
as much as I love this, I can't, I can't. It's not worth it anymore. As much as I want the 160 gigabyte of storage for my music, it's not worth it. I have the box here. Um, let's think of it as it's being discontinued. Been through a lot, but it's time for you to go to sleep now. <laughs> I was actually really sad. I, I I was busy. I was going out, so I didn't have time to check it. But when I got back and looked it over and realised that yeah, it's had it. I was really upset. I was more annoyed with myself at the fact that I dropped it, but I was upset at the fact that I had this for so long. It's perfect for what I need. It looks beautiful, but it's unreliable. But, nevertheless, when I bought it, it was already an old product. So I've got to move with the times. Question, do I buy another iPod? No, no I don't. Simply because to get anywhere near this kind of storage, I would need to buy an iPod Touch. And the most expensive iPod Touch is you're looking at nearly £400. And I am not spending that amount of money on an iPod when all I want from an MP3 player is to play music. That's all I want. That's all I need. I've got my phone for everything else. So, what I've done, what I have actually done, and it will be here today, I ordered a new MP3 player. I ordered it yesterday. And thank you to Amazon Prime's 30 day free trial. It's going to be here today. It's going to be here anytime soon. Depends what time the mailman gets here. You what? The FIO or the FIO? F double I O. The FIO X1. Go check it out. I'm going to leave the link to the website in the description. That's what I've bought. And you'll understand why when you see it. Check out the specs. Check out the other products that FIO have got. I'm not going to say too much about it now, you're going, to, you're going to get an unboxing where I'll explain a bit more, but the Fire OX one, go check it out, and you'll see just how awesome they are, and why I've gone for that. So, this was a quick video just to say goodbye to an old friend, and say that I'm sorry for hurting you, but every time I hear that damn hard drive trying to spin up, it breaks my heart. I had it on charge this morning just to see if anything would help but you're gonna get a goodbye photo on Instagram so look out for that guys give give that a heart because it's broken mine this is goodbye to my iPod classic but hello to the Fio X1 when it does arrive today there will be an unboxing of it let me know how do you listen to your music? Do you listen to music at all? Do you use your phones? Do you use Google Play Music? Do you use Apple Music, iOS or Android? Do you have a dedicated MP3 player? Do you have an iPod, an iPod Classic, an iPod Nano, an iPod Touch, an iPod Shuffle? Do you have a, a different style of MP3 player? Do you have a Fio X1? Do you have a Fio X7 or an X5? Do you have a Sony MP3 player? Let me know. Let me know how you listen to your music. Let me know what music you like. I've been Ash Basher. You've been YouTube, beautiful and wonderful as always. You know where to find me if you need me. But until then, look after yourselves.